Welcome to the beautiful island of Miro. It is a gorgeous, moody marshland. It's full of untouched charm of nature in its most reflective state. It's incredibly serene. I think it's just so beautiful. And this island is by Nadine. I'm gonna make sure as per usual, put all of this island's information, including where you can go give Nadine some love, all in the description box below. Also, if you haven't already and enjoy content like this, a very easy and free way to support me is simply by subscribing to my channel. We're getting so close to 100,000 subscribers. Every day we're just barely chipping away at it, so I appreciate your support so much. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the tour. I am so excited to show you this island. It's really unique, not only in its design, but it's also 100% flat. So you don't need a ladder, you don't need a vaulting pole, none of that. Also, all of the beaches are decorated as well as the main home. So we're gonna get to see all those really fun decorations, both interior and exterior on this island. Before we begin, let's go ahead and check out this map. Yep, like I said, 100% flat. I can't wait to see it. And then for villagers, we've got Alfonso, Agnes, we've got Robin, we've got Shep, Molly, my sweet baby Bo, I love him. We've got Fang, we have Flora, Sly, and Coco. Here's the dream address right on the screen for the island, Miro, but you guys already know the drill. If you want to visit this island, all of that information will also be in the description box. Okay, let's get started. I cannot wait to look around. I mean, check this out already. This entrance is just so, so beautiful. This just goes to show that you don't need fancy terraforming whatsoever to have an effective island. There is none. There's no terraforming at all, and yet I'm already blown away. Check that out. It's pretty incredible what the in-game items and custom coats can redo, and I think we're gonna have to go to the right first on this island tour because I love that we have Blather's tent right here. Oh my goodness, and it's so perfectly decorated. I like how on this island, since it is a marshland, you know, we can go and wade through the waters, but we also have a really nice dock and area to walk around. So good. Oh, and it looks like we're close to Nook's Cranny. This is wild. Gotta say, even though you, we don't need a vaulting pole to get around, seeing it placed is pretty fun. And here is Nook's Cranny, kind of serving as a little area for you to fill up on fuel with your boat, right? If you need to, to put a little more gasoline in your tank, you can also do some shopping. This is totally reminiscent of areas on lakes or rivers where you can get a little bit of convenience store shopping done while simultaneously taking care of your boat maintenance needs. And it makes sense that we are right next to the dock for this. Oh, this is the peninsula, not the dock. No entry, so no one can explore the lighthouse. I bet there's some lore there. <laughs> and here we have a really fun overlook of a little graveyard, a beachside graveyard. This is just making me think, like, what would we do without the wheat field item? I couldn't live without it. It is definitely one of my favorites. I feel like I use it all of the time. And you know what? Since beaches are decorated, let's check them out. Oh, how cute. A little place to sit and play your ukulele. I love that. And, oh, we have Able Sisters on the beach. Let me go around here so we can properly see it. This is so fun. I always get an absolute kick out of seeing various Animal Crossing New Horizons amenities placed on the beach, whether it be the campsite, the museum, Nook's Cranny. I just think it's such a creative way to use this space if you don't want to make it a traditional beach or anything like that. And here, it looks like it's a great area to send and receive shipments from Able Sisters as well. <laughs> And why not? You can also get a little coffee, enjoy the waves. I gotta say, this is really beautiful with the lighthouse in the background as well. Just gives it a nice little, nice little view. Fun, well, I guess we'll keep going back this way because I see some villager yards. 
Oh, the little mallards. Love the ducks next to one another. And here is a home. It's really creative too, how we're seeing these wheat fields break up the custom pathing with the in-game grass and other custom codes, really giving that differentiation between land and water. It definitely reminds me, and this is just such a throwback. I, I lived in Florida as a child only for like five years, but our home backed up to wetlands and we would get tons of snakes. We would get tons of egrets, not flamingos, but this is making me think of it for sure. Uh, sometimes the occasional gator or two in our backyard and it was just so much fun. Wow, look at all these flamingos. I feel like this is one of those items that is really difficult to not make look cheesy, but in this case, I really don't think it does. I think the flamingos look pretty outstanding. And here we have another villager home. A little delivery, it looks like. Someone's Amazon packages. And you know what, let's go ahead and say hi to our resident rep over here. It looks like Coco really wants to say hi too. <laughs> hey there, oh my gosh, look at her little fish bag. How precious is that? And so fitting for this island too. Okay, I'm gonna follow you. We're gonna go explore this way since you're over here. And look at this, our marshland even has a tomato farm. So cute. I like how there's wishing wells kind of scattered throughout too. Who lives here? I'm curious. Fang. I think Fang was my very first cranky villager ever. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Oh, look, we got boats over there. And look at Rover's briefcase. I can't get to the beach from this specific spot, but I still wanted to show that because I think it's really cute. Someone's packed up and ready to go. Ready to go sailing. And it looks like we're close to the main house. So I am gonna go ahead and explore, but let's check out this yard. I love it. A true, almost floating home, I guess we can call it as such, with its own personal boat. <laughs> We've got tons of little ducks over here. These colors too on this whole island are giving me life. I'm, I'm seeing tons of beige and ivory, obviously tons of greens and blues, but this little pop of purple that we have kind of scattered throughout is so good. And then on this side of the beach, how fun, we have a little pottery area. I love that. I think that's great. All right, let's go ahead and go inside and check out what's in the main home. <gasps> yes, I love homes that really make use of these partition walls. I feel like it gives such a great dose of realism. We're separating the foyer from our living room over here. It's just so good and I know a lot of people do use them but I particularly love when they're put up so close to the front just like this I think it just segments that whole front room perfectly and like I said it feels more realistic like a lot of homes don't have a completely open floor plan you know there's there's walls there's other things to navigate beyond just entryways so I definitely love it and again same thing happening here which is so cool was this like a little office of sorts? It is, oh my goodness, how genius. Here is your work from home area. I love it. That's one thing that hopefully whenever Kyle and I, my husband, hopefully whenever we buy a home, I will have a, a dedicated room as an office because <laughs> right now I work fully remote um, in our living room and it's not the most convenient thing, but I'm going to I'm going to manifest it and we'll report back. 
Okay, let's go back here to this back room. Oh, it's a kitchen. Oh, so, so nice. Man, what did we do before the food in Animal Crossing? I mean, we had some food-related items, but doesn't it look like such a difference having that skillet on the actual stove, having the bread, freshly baked bread, sit on the table? I also love that this table has a little high chair. I think this island's doing such a good job of making it fun, making it unique, really giving me tons of design inspo and also being highly realistic in a lot of ways too. All right, we'll navigate over here to the right. Oh, how cool. What a perfect bathroom setup. Look at the gyroid in the bathtub too. <laughs> I love that little trick. This is so fun. We have a whole bathroom and a, kind of like a laundry room, walk-in closet situation. That looks great. You know, I can't believe I haven't thought to use these hanging clothing items as personal items and not just, you know, something that would be in a retail store. But that looks really good. And can we just talk about this right here? The shower. The shower itself is so creative. This is just using the low countertops and obviously the shower head on the wall. But it looks so different to what we typically see people build and I just very much appreciate it. Okay, you know what? We usually go upstairs first. I'm gonna pivot and we're gonna check out the basement. Oh, fun! You guys know I love a basement themed basement. And here we have an entire gym set up, which is so much fun. Absolutely love that. And I'm pivoting a little bit differently with the camera on this one so we can really appreciate it. And this, I love it so much. My previous island, the one I pretty much just completed not too long ago, the basement theme was also basement, <laughs> where it's just, you know, a good deal of storage, some knickknacks here and there, a place where you can both hang out, but also keep some storage around, you know? Keep those paint cans and screwdrivers and tools, things that you don't access necessarily every single day. And I think that's great. Fun. What a great bedroom. Again, definitely giving us some realism with a Nintendo Switch right here. <laughs> Ready to be played. I absolutely love it. This is very cozy. I can tell that a lot of personal touches went into this entire house. I think it's great. I love too just the little clutter items laying around like the Happy Home Paradise plant. We have this little car. We have one of the handbags up here. And this whole area is kind of like a little vanity walk-in closet. I think that's great. 10 out of 10. Oh, I didn't even notice over here. Do you see that custom coat on the back to make it look like a storage closet of sorts? Oh, that's so good. What an amazing home. I love it. I love it. And we still have tons of island to explore. I do feel like touring islands that are completely flat, it, they seem to go by so quickly. Now, I know we have the entire left side to explore, so we are far from the end. But because you can really walk freely, unless there's just tons of items, it's so fun to run through them and this one is at the top of my list. I love too how this one boat has a huge extended dock back here. I think that's so good for any kind of maintenance or even just storage, I guess, for your boat if you don't want it to be on the water directly. 
I don't know much about boats. <laughs> I've been on boats. <laughs> don't know much about them though. <laughs> have we seen this villager home? I think we have. Yeah. This is the one with the Amazon delivery. I remember now. <laughs> Look at our resident rep just walking through the water back there. I love it. So I guess let's explore this way a little bit. So here is resident services. It's not too terribly far from the airport. I'll show you how it connects because I obviously had to walk here <laughs> from or, from, or to the airport rather. Oh my goodness, words are hard. So here we are at the entrance where the amazing museum slash Blathers tent was placed. And resident services is not too terribly far away, but surrounded by water. And then some of this pathing too, to give us again, that pathway and dock kind of feeling. This is such a cute area. How fun. I wish there was a way that we could actually fish in the custom code <laughs> water. <laughs> Obviously that makes zero sense, but that would be a very cute hypothetical fishing spot. There's a little sugarcane farm too. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen more sugarcane. I always see it on islands and immediately think of like, Moody, swampy, marshy. <laughs> Here's an adorable picnic spot. We got a little dropped bag. We have a cushion to sit on. We've got our book to read. And a nice little picnic basket. Oh, look at this. These builds are so creative. I have to say the corrugated iron absolutely is perfect for this kind of theme. Oh, a little beachside plant shop, which is just adorable. I love the floating logs too. Another little fun camera op moment, <laughs> which speaking of, there are a few presents dropped outside of resident services, including these wonderful overalls and boots. <laughs> and a couple of props if you do want to take pictures when you visit yourself. Love the gazebo. Again, wonderful items that were added. I believe that one was added in the 2.0 update. Can you guys believe it? that was quite literally years ago? Oh, a sweet house here. I wonder who this is. Is this Molly? Who is it? Oh my goodness, how did I know? I just, sometimes I get a gut feeling. <laughs> and I had a gut feeling this was Molly's house. Another little fuel spot. This is amazing. Love that. No boats are getting stranded. At least I don't think. Oh, how fun is this? What a fun little bonfire fishing area. This is perfect too, because it does line up with this little, what are they called? I don't know. I'm just saying entryway to the river. <laughs> A delta? I don't know. That's not what I studied in school. But I do love this gas station and it's quite different too from the big nooks cranny gas and convenience store area. This one is a lot more cozy, a little bit more rustic. So fun. And here we got more boats. Here is our captain area. Love this too, because you know, if you were to actually play on this island, you can still hop on captain's boat, no problem. It's not totally and completely blocked off. We love an island that's functional. <laughs> that's also pretty. Oh, this yard's so cute. I know that's Molly's, but I miss the little plants on the side. 
Okay, this is fun. These neighbors seem like they hang out pretty frequently. They've got a little shared yard with some fishing poles right in between the two of them. So who lives here? If this is Sly, I wanna see who lives next to Sly. There's someone inside, is it? No, it's not Alfonso. It's Bo, aw, Bo's home. Cute. We got some beachside yoga, which I absolutely love. Do I have that emote on this one? Yes, I do. I am not dreaming on my normal switch right now. I am dreaming on my arm to table let's play switch because I'm kind of getting it back in order over a year later to bring back because it's just, it's a little chaotic, uh, but a lot of fun. And I think it's time to reignite that let's play and everyone is still there and being as messy as usual. Okay, this area, I'm obsessed. I love this. I think this serves as such a great example on how you can be creative without using an Animal Crossing structure, without even using planted trees. There's some bushes and weeds and flowers, but you don't need the fruit trees or any of the in-game trees. Like this is an item. And it looks so whimsical. I love just the whole spiral pathing. I think it's great. <laughs> this little area is fun. So many great ideas on this island for small builds, little filler areas. And another farm back this way. So cute. And now we're getting kind of quite literally into the weeds. It's looking a little more overgrown back that way. Cute, a volleyball spot on the beach with some marshmallows being roasted. This island is such a treat. I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but and maybe I'm just noticing this and making it up, but I feel like every single duck that we've seen has a buddy. There's at least two always together. I hope that's true. I, I think I noticed that correctly, but I could be wrong. Man, look at this. Like this, this is a marsh island right here. It's so, so well made. There's like just enough pathing to kind of direct you to certain areas, which I love. Super, super cute. But you can still access other areas by going through the water. We got boots on, we're good. Look at the bunnies. So fun. Lots of bunnies over here. Got another plant shop area. Again, I feel like this whole island is like, we need a master class on these mini shops, on these filler areas. It's just so good. Here we have a post office and a bakery. Oh, it's so great. At all of this back here. This bakery's open right on the water. There is just so much to see. If you need any kind of inspiration for these like smaller builds, oh my goodness, you have to tour this island. It is so perfect. Look at this villager yard too. These two are shared a little bit. We got a rocking chair back there, a little comfortable chair too. Just to watch the sunset or sunrise. And here we have our campsite. I was wondering where this would be, which is so fun. It does feel very, very overgrown, very rustic back here. We got tons of fruits. We've got picnic tables. This set looks quite nice together. 
These wooden benches and that particular wooden table looks pretty great. And we are at the secret beach as well. I'm so glad I panned up, otherwise I wouldn't have maybe seen it with all of the wheat fields. But the campsite is right next to the secret beach, which is just perfect. More sweet mallards. <laughs> I love it. I feel like this island has so much to explore. Even without all extensive terraforming, it is so, so impressive in its design and its realism, like I mentioned earlier. I am just absolutely obsessed with it. The colors are beautiful. Man, what a treat. Well, I think I'm gonna sit right here on this tire <laughs> please do yourself a favor and go check out this island but before you do that go give nadine some love again everything will be in the description box so you can give her a follow on instagram and other platforms i appreciate you guys for watching and for hanging out with me if you haven't already you can submit your tour for, for your tour you can submit your island for a tour here on my channel through the link in the description box or feel free to tag me on your friend's island on instagram or something like that encourage them to submit I hope y'all are having an amazing one wherever you are in this big old world. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.